Sometimes if I want to have fun, I'll just go and click the random page button on the Tally Hall Wikipedia. And the other day it took me to the page of Fate of the Stars. And so I was like, alright, I'll just read up on this and see if there's anything I don't know. And what's interesting is one of the trivia bits for Fate of the Stars lists that it was featured in a 2012 episode of Teen Mom. I had no idea what that show was. Turns out it's a reality show. I don't like reality shows, so that makes sense why I didn't know what it was. But what's interesting is it links the reference to this tweet from MTV. So obviously Tally Hall has had some connection to MTV. TV before and they had like an interview or something but I guess for their different shows on MTV they'd create playlists of all of the music that was featured in an episode or something so for example for the uh, Teen Mom show for whatever this episode was they would list everything and I guess in the episode it featured Fate of the Stars upon further research on their website um for the MTV soundtrack stuff, it would have a featured artist each week. And so for this episode of Teen Mom, episode three, season four, featured artist was Tally Hall. So, you know, I got the nice picture here. And it makes sense that it would be a good and evil related song since it was about a year after it came out. And what was cool is it would include, like, free downloads. So, you know, if you're, like, a fan of Teen Mom and really want that soundtrack, you could get Fate of the Stars, I guess. What's kind of cool is they would list out all the songs and when it would play in the episode. So, I was able to find Teen Mom. I guess it's still, like, available to watch on, like, Peacock or some MTV things or whatever. And so I tried, you know following following what they have on here for this scene i tried going to the scene but fate of the stars didn't play and i was super confused and so like i, I but what's weird is if you go to a scene back like, together, if you listen yeah, if you listen yeah, here it's so quiet like, now playing like, tally hall that's cool well, no, him for a scarecrow that, that is not girl, not fate of the, of the stars just the instrumental like too. Like, I'm so confused. It's gonna be a mess. And then that's the whole thing. So Tally Hall is featured for the episode, but Fate of the Stars isn't even in the scene that they're supposed to list. Instead, there's him of a scare, him for a scarecrow, and a different thing. I don't understand. I don't understand. I just have so many questions. Like, why why are they the featured artist if their song is an instrumental for like 20 seconds? I don't know, I didn't care to watch the rest of the episode to see if maybe Fate of the Stars had appeared later. But why would they- like, but then it was all like, oh, go to the soundtrack from this link with the little pop-up at the bottom of the screen. And then, like, I don't get it. And then I tried looking at Twitter to see if anyone else ever talked on, about it. And someone mentions it like once back in August. 2012 is this the same episode they're referring to did tally hall appear again i couldn't find any other evidence of tally hall appearing again in teen mom but why would it even be why even teen mom like how does how does this work uh, how how do they ask the band and this was in, like in 2012 this is a year after they broke up so why are they like i don't know how did the how did they get the rights to this to download it for a song that's not even in the episode and why is this just not I don't know! Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this random rabbit trail that I guess Tally Hall was featured in a 2012 episode of Teen Mom, but for whatever reason, it was incorrectly credited in multiple, multiple locations. And yeah, I guess if you were paying attention on live TV back then, you could have uh, heard the instrumental for him for a scarecrow appear. So true. Anyways, I guess that's all I have to say right now. Goodbye.